So a lot of people, a few among us have accepted that long time ago. I no longer count how many days I fast in a year. I no longer count how many hours I pray. I used to count it before, 12 hours. I'll put the clock, and then I count 12 hours. This, okay, I was able to do 14 hours. Then I said, okay, let me see high, the highest I could do. I went for 18 hours uh, in tongues. When it became my lifestyle, there was no need to count. Yeah, so I just flew. I can pray for three days because I gave myself to it. So the fountain will begin to expand. The capacity will begin to expand. And God is in the business of expanding capacity. There are dimensions of spiritual things you can't move with, with, with insufficient capacity. You can't move that. And it's not God's fault. If I make you feel okay and you don't have a prayer life, I lie to you. Because there is no one in the Bible. If you check the Bible. Somebody say, ah, this church is growing and they are not praying. Ah, find out why it is growing. No? Because the prescription in the book of Acts is that they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, in breaking of bread, in fellowship, and in prayers. If those guys have devised another formula, it is not the Holy Ghost that is driving that place. It's not the Holy Ghost. Because people can gather. I was there in, in Manchester. Etihad Stadium. He was filled. Jesus was not in the center. So that you have some. It doesn't mean it is the Lord. If it's going to be the Lord, you must follow the prescription. And you cannot take prayer out of that equation. You cannot take those basic things. You can't take them out. That's what, that's the mechanical energy that drives church life. At any point in time, where there's a decline in those matters, then another civilization will begin to build. You just, sin will just start flowing. Huh? Wicked men looking for how to keep pastor will begin to, they'll find a place con conducive. Put some prayer there. Ah. Put some prayer there. The witches will confess. But if there's no prayer, I assure you there are a lot of witches. Many things that you do, many decisions that you took was not with your clear mind. You were under influence. Uh, I've seen both sides of the coin. So I can tell you how, how, how it feels like. All right?